What's up everybody, welcome back! I hope everyone is ready, because we just have a few more things to do. We're getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, I did a lot of grinding, Akiyama is still only level 22. Saijima is level 23, which is not too bad I guess. Uh, Shinada is level 24 because I got really bored with the grinding at some point, so I only did like the small things that needed to be done. And Kiryu was the first one I maxed out, so he is uh, level 25. <clears throat> Um, so, with that being said, we're gonna do the final hostess real quick, which has to be done with Kiryu. Kiryu-han, go and play freely, nice. Lizzie! How is Lizzie today? This is Elise, my club. Ooh, this place is so nice. I think I made the right choice coming here. <laughs> right? Well, I'm really depending on you. I just gotta get used to how you Tokyo folk talk and all that. Or are you talking to yourself? I'm always talking to myself. Do I need to deliver everyone personally? Or can we just start it? I'm okay despite missing an hour of sleep. Only an hour? Slowly but surely, business is starting to pick up. Keep up the good work in wooing the girls from around the country. S could still use about three more girls. Okay, so I gotta use everyone. You know, Dr. Tom said we shouldn't talk to ourselves. Also, your oven is open. That is so true. My oven is indeed open. And I don't know who Dr. Tom is, I just like talking to myself. I said... <laughs> Your oven is open. Okay, fine. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it open, closed, I mean, whatever. Jesus, Lizzie. Gotta make it so complicated for me. I didn't actually anticipate I had to introduce all the girls, which is kind of annoying. So, Lizzie, what you up to? Are you at work? I wish I had known that the last time that I swapped around all my characters. Listen, I know I need XP for all my characters, but I'm not in the mood. Ah, fuck.
Work, 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 work. Okay, back. Oh, yay. You closed it. Yeah. While complaining. Brought me an egg and cheese omelette. Nice. Egg and cheese. No, no, I was complaining. I didn't say anything about you complaining. I was complaining. About having to close my oven. Yeah, my brother hostess from Fukuoka. Hi, uh, I'm Riku. Nice to meet you. I've never been to Tokyo before. I'm all sort of nervous. Hmm. I like her. That accent of hers is adorable. She's sure to be a big hit at our club. You sure know how to pick them, kitty son. Oh, you know me. Next time you come to Elisa, your visits on the house. And welcome aboard, young lady. Thank you. I'm raring to go. I don't. I let the warm air escape for a while. Imagine just collecting girls. I mean, uh, in Kiwami uh, 1 and 2 and in Zero, you pretty much did just that. Collect girls for a cabaret club. So, you know. Whoa, Japan. Apparently, men are disrespectful as fuck. And they take it as our fault. Not theirs. I mean, uh, as long as I don't get lumped in with that... Uh, with those men, I'm fine. I take the blame for the things that I do, okay? Wait, what? <sighs> I mean, as a woman... Wait, okay, you gotta... I can't English anymore, Lizzie. You gotta explain this better to me. The hell? So to women... Onisan Hakim! Vantage if you're drunk and shit. I brought you a hostess from Sapporo. I'm Kakia, it's nice to meet you. Whoa, she got a body that won't quit. Not bad, Saijima san, not bad at all. Not bad, that's all you got to say. Can take her back to Sapporo, you know. No, 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 she's fine, honest, thank you. You miss, it's lovely to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Stay near the club would be great appreciation. If you're dressed a certain way. Let's 
This woman who is in Japan. This and that. Oh my glob. <laughs> oh my glob. Me no want to go alone. <laughs> I mean, Japan is also a lot sterner on a lot of different things, though. But, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff just doesn't swing whenever, wherever, if you ask me. But then again, there are also, like... Twitter is this hellhole where you realize there are people that are like, or regular men from America or anywhere else that are like, yeah, if you dress like that, you're just asking to be uh, harassed and uh, groped and raped and whatever. And I'm like, uh, what? Nani? I don't think I agree, uh, buddy. I don't think I agree. So, uh, that. Say no no to Japano. Shiondes! Good to meet you, sir. Well, 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 isn't she stunning? Damn, Shinada, how'd you manage to nab a babe like her? No need to be rude about it, man. My charm and good looks are magic with the ladies. <laughs> oh, your charm makes me want to hire you as talent scout for a club. Now then, nice to meet you, my dear. Can't wait to see what the men in Tokyo are like. This is going to be quite fun. Some men are buttholes. So true. <laughs> So true. Sir, thank you. Business is booming once again. Nah, it's all thanks to the top class girls we got from all over the country. But they're just here temporarily. We need to make sure we can keep ourselves running even after they're gone. About that, our new girl has finally finished her training and is ready to work in the club. Oh, hey, really? Yes, sir. Not only is she a real looker, she's smart and gifted and a gifted conversationalist. To top it all off, she's super motivated too. It's like she was born to be a hostess. Sounds great. Her training sure took a lot of time though. Yeah, she happens to have a rather difficult personality. That's all. Meaning what exactly? Oh, never you mind that. Once she's out there with actual customers, I'm sure she'll be just fine. Hmm, if you say so. Is everything okay, sir? You seem worried still. Nothing's bad happens. Kiddie-san, I hate to do this to you, but I have one more thing I need to ask of you. What is it? Can you be a client for a new girl and see if she's really fit to be the face of my club? No. All of Kamarucho. You just gotta weed the bad ones out. True. But the same with women, right? You just gotta weed out the bad women as well, because there are plenty. <laughs> well, why me? Why indeed, sir. I assure you she's ready. I need more than that. Any girl can chat and drink with clients if that's all we offer. We're sunk. I want to change the very idea of what both men and women think of when they hear the words Cabaret Club. Sir, you're not making much sense right now. Kiryu san you're the only one who knows Kamarucha well enough to know if this girl is suited to be our star. I get what you're going to... going. I get what you're going for here, but I'm not sure... Now, if... Not sure now is the best time. That's a good point. And what would dear little Haruka think if she knew you were missing around, messing around in cabaret clubs all the times like this? Kiyama, yeah, you'd better not. Just thought you'd be on board with this since you've been a regular at their club. But never mind. Forget I said anything. Hey, not a word about this. Of any of this to Haruka, you hear? Of course not. We always ensure customers' privacy. Then again... If you're not a customer, <laughs> Akiyama, you douchebag. Ouch, sir, that is playing dirty. Fine, fine, I'll go to your club and ask this new girl of yours, okay? 
All right, that's what I like to hear. I'll go ahead and put her on the clock. I owe you one, kitty, son. There's butthole for both genders. Don't you mean all genders, Lizzie? <laughs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> I had to get that joke out. And now we turn back to Kiryu. His wife accused him of take, talking to other women every day. What's wrong with talking to women? I mean, you, sometimes you need to go to a store, you need to talk to the person behind the counter, and this person behind the counter just happens to be a lady. <laughs> Yaddy yaddy does he. I agree with you though, Lizzie. I would have dropped that hag like a uh, ton of bricks into the ocean. I may be a lonely person, but I have my pride. I will not be dragged down. My own mental health is already terrible enough. Don't need some nagging bitch on my ass either. I have no problem dropping people. Same. But we already knew that I didn't have a problem with that. Run, Kiryu, run! To the information booth! Talk to this smarty pants. I want to go to Cabaret Club. I thought that might be it. In that case, allow me to recommend Elise. It's on Tai Boulevard in front of the Millennium Tower. It's the biggest in Camerucho, very popular. Lots of pretty girls. Lead the way. Very well, sir. Please give me a moment while I check in with the club. Mush mush. This is Shimura over at MEB. I have a gentleman here who's looking to patronize. Patronize? Wait, that's not the right pronunciation, right? Words your establishment. Is now a good time? All right, thank you very much. All set, sir, if you please follow me. Elise has really become something. They've got new girls on staff and they're all top-notch. 
And you recommend? Oh, of course, you've got your pick of lovely ladies who have been scouted from all across Japan. There's Riku-chan from Nagasugai, Hakata, out in Kyushu. She's the biggest hit with folk who are all about that perky Hakata dialect of hers. Is that so? Looks like she's doing a good job. There's also Kakuya-chan from Tsukimino, Sapporo. I've heard she's been working as a model lately, with a big name talent scout coming to see her too. Interesting. Never expected Seijima to win over such a gem. Next, from Sotenbori in Osaka, comes Honoka-chan. Young men are getting worked up by her high energy Kansai conversation style on a nightly basis. I see, leave it to Akiyama to pick a winner. And last but not least, there's Shion-chan from Kinecho, Nagoya. She's a blonde-haired half-Japanese bombshell who is always in demand by well-heeled VIP guests. You know what I'm saying? That Shinada's not just some schmuck after all. Maybe I should reconsider my opinions of him. Oh, and a special bit of info you can only get here. Today's the big debut of Hinata-chan, their secret weapon, fresh of training. What's she like? Not much is known yet, other than she's blood type A, 23 years old, and Aquarius. But you can be sure she exemplifies what a hostess should be. She really is the it girl of Tokyo right now. Does this make you pimp? Mm, technically, but not really either, because this is just uh, conversations and... Maybe dating, but no sex. So, you know, just go along with the conversation and I think she'll like you just fine. But winning her over will not be easy or cheap. So I just have to go with the flow. Well, there's more to her than that. It would be too easy if that's all you had to do. Some don't require that. But we pick up girls, lol. We don't... Well... This game is only one girl each character, except for Kiryu, who is forced to talk up this other girl. But usually only... Uh, this game only one girl at a per person, not four per person. Yeah, Lizzie, what's up? Hello there, welcome to Elysium. Our establishment has an 8-4000 minimum, blah blah blah. Would you like to join us? Do we have a new banner? No, we don't. Unless it's... I don't know how long this new banner... This is a very old banner already, Lizzie. <laughs> Hello there, Hinata, with the fucking crown on her head, Tiara. Nice to meet you. I'm Hinata Osaki. So on my phone, here's my card. It says, Jordi Dreaming. May I ask your name, Kazuma Kiryu? Thumbnail thing. I see. Nice to meet you too. What would you like to order? We want to gotcha the living shit out of this. Put you on a guy! Okay. The J is all swirly. Yeah, that one is already pretty old. Pretty, pretty old. I can't English. I think I made that one after the animation course. Because it's for the videos originally. So in the videos, it's completely animated. It's the first time my phone does that. <laughs> Lol. So mm, yeah, I used to live here, but due to some circumstances, I wound up living in Hakata. Hakata? Hakata? Whoa, that's really far away, yes. And before that, I lived in Okinawa. No way. You sure do move a lot. I've lived in Saitama since I was born. Oh, wow. So Hakata! It's gonna be updated pretty soon again, by the way, Lizzie. I'm gonna give an actual background once I, like, feel the mood for it. Did your parents' eyes take? 
yeah, my parents are cool with me working at night, so I don't live alone. But most hostesses have to move out of their parents' uh, place. No. I'll bet. Have you been working here long? <laughs> no, quite the opposite. Today is my first day. You don't look it. Really? I expect you to be a lot more nervous for your first time. ASAP. Maybe because I got much training. It doesn't really feel like it's my first time. So does that mean I'm your very first client? Mm -hmm. I actually had another client right before you. Hmm. How'd it go? Uh, it was just some pointless small talk for a bit and then suddenly time was up. <laughs> Good job, some girls are so nervous their first time that they can barely hold a conversation. Really? You must have a knack for it then. <laughs> How is Sep today? Uh, let's add, choose a subject to talk about. What do I want to talk about? Recent events in Kamarucho. So we have a... It's Kamarucho like these days. There doesn't seem to be as many people around anymore. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened last year. Even the cabaret club clientele seems to have moved on to greener pasture. Doo -doo. Greener pastures? And, uh... Sep, today is ok. Good. Ok is better than bad. Mm. You know, like Yinza or Ropongni. Well, girls have moved out to a place like that. Mm, we go to? No. I don't know. Kamarucho is an easier commute from my house. I hang around here a lot too, and it's nice to be able to have fun with friends before work. Good point. Your personal life is important too. Karaoke stage. Let me guess. This one, normal topics. Ah. Guess there is one, huh? I've come to this club a number of times, but I've never seen anyone using it myself. I'm super into karaoke. I'm itching to get up there and do it. Do what? Love being up on stage. Mm -hmm. Just seeing a mic stand gets me all pumped up to sing. Right? So I was super happy to see it. I have a stage where I can sing every day. But for some reason Is I've just never gotten around to it. <laughs> I like karaoke pubs are all the rage. This place doesn't have that kind of vibe. You like karaoke that much? Daisuke! I'll spend an entire day off singing. Wait, there is no way you can sing all day long. Oh, yes there is. Get in first thing in the morning where it's free, sing until 7pm, have a quick dinner, and then keep going all night long. That's amazing. All night long. Not only can you have fun for all that time, but you can get people to stay with you for so long too. Well, sometimes I have to call in others partway through when they're free. People drop in now. If everyone managed to stick around, the room would get so crowded. I prefer smaller groups. If there are too many people, I don't get to sing as much. Yeah, that's true. If you only get to sing once every hour, you get bored and just wind up messing around on your phone the whole time. I think four or five people is the ideal number. Uh, we're not going to continue dialogue. We maxed it out, so we're leaving. Uh. Okay, then we go from E to D. Hope I'll see you again, cutie son. Natas affection.
I just started at the club, so there's a lot I don't know yet. I'll try my hardest though, so give me a chance. I'm as motivated as they come. Keep your chin up. Okay, here we go again. Irashimasen. Go Jiji sama. Kiryu san, welcome back. I'm so glad you picked me. Dressed as usual, I see. Yeah, I don't know where to get the improve friendship with hostess outfit. Gojiji sama. Then again, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> This lady is overdressed. That's what most hosts are though, Lizzie. They're all overdressed. What is it? My rank went up in the club. My rank here in the club went up. Well, look at you. Holy shit, this is a long one. Gold champagne for 300,000? Hell fucking no. Holy shit, I can't choose anything that goes up. Um... Yeah, I guess we're gonna go for golden champagne. She looks like she's going to prom. Yeah, makes sense. Only a few, but still, they've come back a number of times. Good. Guess I should uh, step it up as well. So, what's your rank? Honestly, I'm still number 20. For a club this big, that's pretty good. I guess I really want to be top tier soon. Uh, let's see, 5 will bring us to the up and no down. Uh, I think my only choice is to go 5... So, don't try to rush things, and then... Guess we're gonna pay the bill. Yeah. Try to rush things. You'll need help from your customers to make money, so... Need to stay... Need to start by fostering relationships with them. Alright, thank you, you son. Are you gonna help get my rank up? Uh, I don't really get nothing, right? Y you know what? Fine, we'll do the golden champagne. Thrill in helping a hostess so like you like move up in the ranks. <laughs> You're the best kid, you son. That went instantly up. We don't have to do anything anymore after this. That's good. Okay, we're leaving. It, I already lost 300k here, guys. We're leaving. She's maxed out. Uh. Since that's a lot of money. I had a high fever during prom-ish party. Our fault she falls in love with Kiryu. I don't know how I got home on prom. Lol. <laughs> I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember, Lizzie? Were you drunk? Okay. Like in all... It was like in all those high school music. Movies, high school music poll movies. <laughs> 300 for gold champagne. It's a good thing I'm so fucking rich. 
乾杯何が出るかなはい。People will recognize you soon enough. Really good at remembering clients' faces, like one look and I'll remember right away. That's to be expected. Would be rude of you not to remember your own clients. <laughs> so you do remember and so you do remember Kiryu? It's not possible for me. <laughs> Yeah. It should be necessary job skill for hostess. You should be taking notes on what you talk about right after a client leaves so you don't forget. <laughs> what? Everyone does that? I appreciate it when a hostess sends an email that includes details from their conversation. It makes them feel good that you remember them. Whoa, really? And here I thought I was going above and beyond just remembering anything at all. But I guess I was wrong. That's how you get ahead of the game. That's how you get ahead! A Christmas story. So we have a. Uh, change subject. Okay. I just don't remember how I got to the hotel, from the hotel to my home, not drunk. Gotta ask my friend. As if she will remember. <laughs> Hmm, will you be at the club on Christmas Eve? Why do you ask? Uh. Just curious. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm off that day. Are you disappointed? Kind of. <laughs> you don't need to be that upset. I'm only going to see a concert. Oh, is that alright? Besides, if a hostess works on Christmas Eve, it's a sign she's not popular. Oh, really? Well, sure, girls with regular clients would only come in after some extravagant dinner, and one with boyfriends sh wouldn't even be here. One with boyfriends? One with boyfriends. That is multiplication. That is multiple boyfriends. So, if you were to come to the club, you'd be stuck with girls who are leftovers. Let's just go with this one. Yeah. That's not true. I bet some girls celebrate on another day so they can work on Christmas Eve. I bet. They'll probably say stuff like, oh, I'm all alone on Christmas Eve while they're actually got a date on the 23rd. Yeah, I should try that myself this year. Then I could have an extra day of work. <laughs> Mojika. Seriously? Then I'm not coming on that day. <laughs> Are you sure about that? If you get lonely that evening, won't you want to see me? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Jesus, Sep posting a giant ass topic in the chat. Do you, do you like liver sash, sa, sashimi? Uh. Yeah, whenever I go for yakiniku, that's usually what I wind up getting. <laughs> I love liver sashimi too. Oh, really? So. I hear a lot of women do. Whenever I go out for yakiniku with my girlfriends, we always get ourselves a plate a piece. <laughs> Whoa, guess you really do like it. I also carve iron like mad when I get anemic. But it's been tough lately because I haven't been able to eat any. Uh, 
they say both are down, so I don't really... Let's just go with... Uh, I'm sure you could find some. I'm sure you could find some. Lots of places will serve it, even if they don't put it on menu. Well, that's what I was doing until recently, but that trick's a bust now. Restaurants just won't prepare it anymore. Aw. Don't give up! Yeah. Some places will make it, but not for customers they aren't familiar with. If they make it, but won't serve it to me, then what's the <laughs> point? It's just how secret menu stuff works. They'll make things as a special favor for regulars, but not for ordinary customers. So if you keep going a bunch and then ask, you'll get some place to serve it to you eventually. Oh, I get it. So I need to become a regular someplace. Okay, what, what did... Uh, we're leaving. We're maxed out. Go home. <clears throat> Lizzie had none to go with and she had a crush on Tyler that was like sports team captain and he was super shy because he had a crush on Liz even though had all the attention of the cheerleaders that were unlikable mean chicks so the fuck are you talking about Sep? Remember a thing it's because the movie ended with them closing door of said hotel ha huh? now once with boyfriends is every lass in the category had a boyfriend no, 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 I don't believe that. Lies. Uh. Leaving already. Sad face. School romance movie called with Lizzie as the star. <laughs> See you next time. Lizzie wouldn't want to star in a high school movie uh, ro romance plot thingy. Okay, on to C. Did you come all the way to see me? Dressed as usual, I see. Got a problem? That's why I just wrote all that bullshit above. Yeah, no, I uh, noticed. I could tell. Hey, so there's something I've been wondering about for a while. What's that? You know how they write last on the price board outside? Do you have any idea why they write it like that? Uh, no, why? I don't stay out drinking until closing time much anymore, so I've never noticed. I used to think that the closing time would change based on how good business was doing that day. But as it turns out, we can only be open until 1 o'clock. Well, if you say that you're usually open till 1 o'clock, customers might assume you're not open any later. And then they won't come. Right, because the clump is actually open past that, but on the down low. I was kind of surprised because cabaret clubs had this wholesome image. <gasps> really? Did something happen? Yeah, something happened. This cop showed up telling us that we're open longer than we were supposed to be and forced us to close right on the spot. Did anything happen to you? I was fine, but the last train home had already left, so I was going to crash at a net cafe. But then I got a call from the manager. She was like, we're reopening, so get back here right away. <laughs> Your manager made a bold move. You'd figure after catching heat, you'd want to lay a little low. Oh yeah, she's re she really is a go-getter. She usually doesn't seem all that tough, but in this case, she was pretty so badass. So, what did you do? Did you go back? I did, but a lot of the other girls are already taking caps home. I guess they never expected they'd uh, be asked to come back, huh? 
But there were actually customers who came at the, that hour, and one of them really liked me a lot. But we were understaffed because the other girls didn't come back. I had to go take care of other customers, and he got all mad and left. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's the manager's fault. That's bad luck. Yeah. Worry about it. If you work here long enough, that's bound to happen a few times. The important thing is those situations is not to repeat the same mistakes again. Yeah, my manager is going to get an earful from me. <laughs> I'm sure things will be fine next time. Manager this! Girls in Tokyo. So it's been a while since I've been back in Tokyo, but the girls here really are on a higher level. <laughs> what? That's not true. There are only a small... There are only a small number of cute girls here. Mm. I don't mean the yeah. look. Talking about fashion. This place is the cutting edge of style. But everyone has a different taste in clothes. Girls won't wear something they don't like, even if it's supposed to be in fashion. Uh, I suppose so. so if that's the case, all Tokyo girls just have a great sense of style. Yeah, I guess. People wear what they feel suits them. Maybe that's proof they're serious about fashion. What suits them, huh? I've never given it a lot of thought, but maybe I should try that myself. So, Kiri, does that mean you prefer city girls? I like both. Everyone's got their good and bad sides. If you focus on the good sides, both type of girls are appealing. <laughs> You're quite the smooth talker. You're right, though. Like, I wouldn't be able to pick my preference between clients from Tokyo or ones from the country. <laughs> See what I mean? You look super strong, Kiryu-san. Oh, well, maybe. Are you a tough guy towards the ladies too? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Looking tough is all the more reason to make sure I act like a gentleman and to treat women with kindness. Oh, that's an awesome attitude to have. You're so mature, Kiryu son. <laughs> I can't stand guys who mistreat a woman on a date. I drop them as fast as I can. You're right to leave them. You don't have to date a guy who's violent towards women. There's a lot more to it than that. Oh, such as? There's also stuff like demanding you answer phone calls right away or nagging about why you didn't call, answer their emails. They don't let you hang out with other guys, always ask where you are and demand to see your phone to make sure you're faithful. I mean, that, that goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> that goes, like, both ways. Yeah, let's just go with that's awful for more, po more points. Where do they get off doing that? Right? And then if you don't do what they say, they'll get really angry. It's the worst. Never do that. If anything, be the one getting yelled at. I'm not good with stuff like emails. <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. That's a much better problem. It sucks getting bombarded with emails around the clock. I suppose it must be. And we're leaving. Go home. Now we need to go do dates. Time for a date. Near Club Sega on Theater Square. Thank you for coming, okay? The hostess stuff is literally my second least favorite thing in the Yakuza games. It's just so boring. It takes way too long. 
And if I would be playing it on my own, it wouldn't be too bad because I would just skip through all the dialogue and just purely look at uh, which answers I need to give. Even though it is kind of interesting to get to know the girls, but... Uh, I keep saying it, there's too many of them. Like, they pretty much did it fairly well so far, but with just one hostess per character. Seeing as you can only swap characters after beating a chapter. But then they had to go and give Kiryu a fifth one, a, a second one. Oops. Essence of Drunken Trust. to wait to get a phone call. Call me baby one more time. Cho to cho to. Oops, wrong button. Let's Didn't I put on water for a team? Let me just re put on the water. Ah! Hey, Kiryu san, Sinata, Hinata, what's up? Do you have some free time right now? I kind of want to see you. Sure, that's fine. Woohoo, okay, I'll be outside Club Sega at Theater Square. Club Sega at Theater Square, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll be waiting. I've been waiting forever. La da 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 na na. Na na. Oh, Kiryu son. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's all right. It's I've been hoping to see you. There's was stuff I want to talk to you about. Let's go hang out for a bit. Shall we get going? You know, I've been fascinated with hosts since I was little. My grade school graduation essay was even about how I dreamed of becoming one in the future. Since you were a little girl, weren't you a, little, weren't you a bit young to know about that? No way. I saw stuff about it on TV all the time. All the time! I saw stuff about it on TV all the time. Honestly, I never really gave much thought to any of the other line of work. That means you're already living the dream, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. I put together a resume, went in for an interview, 
And that was that. It was all. It was almost too easy. Hmm. But this is really a dream if you didn't have to do anything difficult to get it. I guess it might still be. But then you've got your whole life ahead of you without anything to work for. That's why, at least for now, I'm aiming to be number one girl at the club. <laughs> aim higher. Should aim higher. A goal like that is hardly worth shooting for. What? How come? Because you probably become the number one girl at this club in no time. And then what will you do? <laughs> oh, that's silly. You haven't known me long enough to drop that kind of line. It's not flattery. I really do believe that. Well, I guess if it seems that easy to you, it's bound to happen. Maybe I really should pick something more difficult. There's nothing wrong with that goal. But don't limit yourself to just that. It's better to try lots of different things. You're right. I'll have to think of other goals to go after. Did you come to Kamarucho much before you started working here? Oh yeah, I come here to sing karaoke a lot. You came all the way from Saitama just for karaoke. This was always the easiest place for my online friends to meet up, so we'd wind up gathering here. My local friends would never come all the way over out here. Online friends? I suppose that's pretty typical these days, isn't it? In sheer numbers, I have way more online friends than I do from school. You know, insane. So, because of that, Kamarucho is less of a nightlife spot and more where I hang out during the day. The nightlife is good too. Men have the hostesses, women have the hosts. Are you into hosts? I've seen them a few times, but I never really gone. It's never really gone well. Oh, why is that? I guess a lot of guys who are hosts are really narcissistic. I mean. I like a guy that's humnal, but not if they're the kind who acts like they're cooler than everyone else. You prefer a man who's humble? Yeah, exactly. That's why I prefer to go to bars with hot bartenders rather than host clubs. There's gotta be places like that around here somewhere. You should go look for them. Meets guitar! Hold, 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 hold. I've actually never been up there before. I've always wanted, though. The Millennium Tower? The view from the rooftop is amazing, especially at night. You've been up there, Kiryu san? Yeah, you can too. If you want to go to the top that badly, you should just go. I know, it's just always been a matter of poor timing. Whenever I tried to go, some sort of accident had happened and it was close to the public. <laughs> I'm sure it's okay now. You should try to go again. That's not true. Do you not remember what happened like five days ago or yesterday in Kiryu's time? For me, it's probably like five or a week. Oh, hey, it's Aimi-chan. You know her? She works at the club. She started a little after I did. So you have sen seniority? Senpai. You're senpai! Haha, <laughs> well, yeah, but wait, is that one of our customers with her? They're out on date, darn. She's really good at nabbing clients. If I don't up my game, she's going to outrank me soon. Don't stress over it. You're already on your way up. Just do it at your own pace, right. Thanks for coming out with me today. Sure. I'll take you out whenever you like. See you at the club! Okay, three more stops. They say you've been coming to our club for a while. You're pretty famous here. I had no idea. Bear with me while I find my footing, okay? I'm famous. <laughs> I'll come by again. Like, right the fuck now, bro! Visit. Kiryu-san, I've been waiting for you. 
Thanks for coming. Just need to go in and out three more times and then we're done. Dressed as usual, I see. What would you like to order? Champagne Tower! Woo! No, we're not doing Champagne Tower. It's a waste of money. I wonder what you'll get. Here goes. Hey, do you remember Amy-chan? We saw her out in town the other day. Yeah, what about her? She's super popular, is what? She blew past my rank in no time. Don't let her outdo you. Get your own rank up and show her who's boss. Okay, I've been doing awesome lately, so I'm not letting her get the better of me. What's your rank right now? I'm number 10! Ooh. Sounds like you're trying hard. From here, only girls with real ability can get ahead. It's only going to get harder from here on out. I guess you're right. Hmm, I think I'm going to have to take more... Yeah. If your rank still doesn't go up, then what are you going to do? You can take on more shifts. Hmm, what should I do then? It's not good to overdo it. You have the opportunity now to try a number of different things, so you ought to give it some serious thought. You sure are smart, Kiryu san. I was going to work all the available shifts this month, but maybe I should reconsider. I think the owner would even... would even okay that. But I'm not the only girl who's annoyed at being beaten by a newbie. And I think about it, the girls who were here before me probably felt the same when I passed them up. Do you think they hate me? They may try harder than you. Try... Uh, they may just have to try harder than you. I'll bet they've already tried doing what you're doing now a long time ago. But the girls here are also amazing. They'll change their dresses, makeup, or hair at the drop of a hat if a client requests it. They'll disappear for like two seconds and then come back looking like someone else entirely. That's pretty impressive. But they must really be desperate by bringing in new regular clients. You're right. I'm not letting them outdo me. So, what do you like, Hideo son? You're fine the way you are now, honestly. You are fine the way you are. Let's go ask a question. Her likes. What do you like? Hinata. You mind telling me what you like? Like as in food. Mm, yes, tripe. Oh, and I've been pretty into shellfish lately. Shellfish? Yeah, the kind you get at a convenience store. Snack for drinking like scallops and whelk. I like those too. I've got a crunchy texture that makes them addicting. Right, when I'm feeling peckish, I'll nibble on some. Before I know it, I'll have polished off an entire bag. So I have to be careful. <laughs> I know how it goes. I bet you and I could have a great night out drinking. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, sorry. I was just checking chatter. Is that an internet thing? Yeah, I was wondering what everyone was up to right now. And people are always messing around on their phones nowadays. This is only this is 11 years ago, by the way. We've already been messing on our phones too much. <laughs> um, I always see people at dinner who don't even bother to look up at, their, <laughs> at each other. I think I said this before as well with um, one of the side quests of uh, Haruka. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a generation gap thing. Back when I was your age, I don't think we even had cell phones. Whoa, really? <laughs> I can't imagine life without cell phones. <laughs> Well, I don't understand why you youngsters can't keep your mit can't keep your mitts of them. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm such an addict. I can't sit for very long before I gotta get my get out my phone and start fiddling with it. So it's a time waster. When I'm bored because I don't have any passengers, I just reread the newspaper over and over. See? That's the problem. Season stuff are way too easy to breeze through, but the internet always has plenty of stuff to look at. <clears throat> that doesn't get tiresome. I like watching TV because when a show is over, you know you're done with it. Yeah, but people go to sleep at night, so updates tend to stop altogether by early in the morning. Really? On the other hand, some people only update during those times. You figure they must work the night shift. So I'll tell them things like good luck at work and stuff. I see. So you can always keep up with your friends. That's kind of neat. Do something. The do something is we're leaving. You're leaving already? Nani! Okay, so we're now hitting A rank. Here you, son! I'll be waiting for you! Holy shit, the A rank has no ups. Okay, good to know. as usual, I seem. What would you like? Gacha drinku! I don't understand why they like the gacha drink so much. Thank you for coming. Wonder what you get. French clone. Hey, Kiryu-san, yeah. So, you know the thing with Amy-chan? Well, I recently found out she's improved her number so much. Well, how's that? It turns out that she's been sleeping with our customers. Nani? Meaning what? Meaning she's sleeping her way to the top. Come on, you know what I mean. Oh, alright. So, how did you find this out? Well, I happened to spot her the other night going into a love hotel with one of her clients. Uh, caught in the act, I see. Even worse, club policy forbids us from sleeping with our clients. It would ruin our reputation if word got around that our girls were easy. Yeah, the real thrill with the host is getting as close to the line as you can without actually crossing it. Because once that line is crossed, the customer probably won't come back. Right. I've been thinking of Aimee-chan as my rival, but now I just feel like an idiot for being the only one putting in real effort. You're giving up? I thought being number one was your dream. It was, but there's no way I can compete with, well, that. That's not true. Yeah. You said sleeping with clients is a clients club policy, right? If the club found out, they'd have to let her go. But then I'm not beating her in a fair fight. That sort of victory is meaningless. You want to earn the number one spot fair and square, huh? That'll be tougher to achieve. That's fine. It's not really a dream if you can't achieve the goal with no effort. So, suppose that's true. I mean, I don't really think there is a good way to go about that, but sure, whatever. About her hobbies. She's technically yeah. cheating anyway, so there was no fair fight to begin with. What are your hobbies? I don't really have many, but if I had to say, I guess I'm into watching movies. You go to the movies a lot? 
Not really, but I do rent them a bunch. Rentals, huh? Naruhodo. So you mostly watch movies at home? Yeah. But I watch the same films over and over. I don't really have a lot of knowledge about movies. <laughs> nice. That makes sense. It's nice to see a wide variety of films, but you can still be a movie buff just re-watching famous movies. If I like a movie, I'll watch it again and again until I have all the lines memorized. That's impressive. Only rewatch a movie if I accidentally rent one I've already seen. <laughs> Yeah, when I rent things, the clerk will look at my rental history and be like, You've already rented this, miss. How do you respond to that? <laughs> but yeah, what about it? If I like something, why can't I watch it multiple times? Good point. Hey, to each their own. I'd get fucking bored out of my brain rewatching the same movie over and over again. That's why I usually only watch things once. Games is not always the same. If the gameplay is really good and I want to really get better at it, but uh, if I just play a game for the story, then usually I'd get bored of it. Do you live near your work, Kitty son? Yeah, it's close enough that I can walk to it. That's nice. It takes me an hour by train to get here from my house. It's a real pain in the butt if I'm tired. Uh, an hour is a long time. It's probably even longer if you consider time spent waiting and changing trains. You must. You must get tired doing that every day. Yeah, for real! If I were closer to home, I could spend all that commuting time doing other things instead. Uh, wait, I pressed the up one, which leads to four. Living closer can be a problem. Yeah. The problem's living close to work too, since you don't need to worry about your time commuting, you'll start running late more often. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally that type. My university was right near my house and I was almost always late for lectures. My friend who commuted from two hours away would get pissed. She was like, how can you be late when you live so close? Oh That's probably not something you should brag about. <laughs> Well, all things considered, it sounds like I'd be better off quitting my job and looking for other options. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong line again. You have to tough it out. Some days I have to drive passengers out pretty far and then I wind up getting home late myself. But I also wind up getting pretty big fares for those trips, so I think of the extra time as being a chance to get more money. Oh, I see. So, is that why a host's salary is so much higher than a normal part-time job? I think I get it. No, I don't think that's the reason. It more has to do with you. Ugh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Whatever makes sense to you. <laughs> Kiryu understands, at least. Okay, let's ask another question about herself. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hinata. Mind telling me about yourself? Uh, do you have any siblings? Got any special talents? What's your best feature? Let's go with that one. No. What's your best... What's your favorite part of your body? Hmm, I do like my... I do like that my legs are long. Oh, how long are they? 85 centimeters. How tall are you? 160. On the dot. Okay, so your legs are longer than your torso. That's pretty impressive. I know, right? I'm pretty proud of it. Kiryu-san, do you prefer coffee or tea? Uh, tea. I don't actually like coffee myself. I do like mocha pies and such, but not. So, and, well, I don't really like tea either, but I drink it because I have to. Tea. If I order a cake or something like that at a cafe, I think tea pairs with it better. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Really? Men drink tea too, you know. Yeah, but us girls can hang out over tea and chat for hours on end. Most guys can't handle spending time like that. Guess tea does have more F a more feminine vibe associated with it. At least more than it does with men. 
Well, I love tea myself. I drink about 10 cups a day, holy shit. Well, it's a cup is not that much. If she would uh, drink uh, 10 of these giant ass glasses, Ooh. she'd get water poisoning or something. <laughs> it must be a real tea connoisseur. Definitely, I even go to classes to brush up on my tea know-how. Oh, really? Impressive. Class for tea, what do they teach? Stuff like how to brew the perfect cup. Don't use a metal teapot. Get it steeping as soon as the water is boiling. And that sort of sort 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 sort. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> God damn it. I should give that a try sometime. See? This is the sort of stuff I want to learn so I can put on a real classy tea party. You should try it too, kid you son. It'll be loads of fun. I have nobody to invite. If we were talking liquor, that might be a different story, but I don't know if my friends are into tea. All the more reason to invite them. It'd be a good chance for people who don't normally drink tea to really enjoy it. If I ask them, they might actually show up. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock! Uh, no, we're leaving. Okay, now we need a little quest. Ah, Unisan! Go away, I'm not in the mood to fight, I'm already maxed out. Oi, Mateo! Okay, now we just need to wait for the phone call. Hey, Kiryu san? Ian Tyson, you? Hello? What's the matter? The hotel's right over there. Um. Hey, you don't need to worry about a thing. Leave it all to me. Sorry, cutie son. Seems fishy. I heard that guy say something about a hotel nearby. Maybe I can find them. Aww, poor Hinata-chan. No, go away. Fuck. You Yakuza bitches always get in the way. I got a lady to save, okay? I've seen that, but who's that guy with her? Come on now, it'll be fine. You don't, don't you want to be? You do want to be number one, don't you? <laughs> you spent this one night with me. I'll swear I'll spend three million yen on you at that club. This guy is a scumbag. He's trying to win Hinta over with money. Are you listening to me? Um, so what's it gonna be, girl? You'll really spend three million? Of course, there isn't a girl as spectacular as you in all of Kamurucho, hell, in all of Tokyo even. And you need my help, little lady. What kind of man would I be if I left my damsel in distress? Hinata. Ah, kitty son. Who the heck are you? You're not going to do what he says, are you? I, if you've truly gotten past your fear of having a sexual relationship with a man, then I won't stop you. No reason to. Where the heck? 
I mean, we kind of probably skipped through all of that. But I probably should have gone through more of the conversations with her, do I? We, I, I don't, didn't know we had that conversation. But if you're still unable to actually open your heart to a man, then... This will only end in regret. You shouldn't go with him, Pinta. But Alpel, I'm doing this to help her fulfill her dreams. Her dreams. Just needs to give me a night of my dreams first. In return, I'll drop three million on her in the club and make her number one. Look, big guy, I'm not forcing her to do anything. The choice is all hers. Do you have some kind of problem with that? Give you some eye. You know, just tell me one thing. Is your dream still to become number one girl in Elise? Yeah. And you want to make that dream come true, even if it involves letting, letting this man do whatever he wants uh, he wants to do? Yes, I see. <laughs> I knew you'd see things my way. Now that's what I call successful negotiation. Don't feel bad, Chief. You need money if you're going to make a hostess happy. And if you don't like that, well, you'll just have to come with them some serious dough like me. You misunderstood me. I wasn't accepting defeat. You're right about one thing. It is going to take money to make Hinata's dream come true. Which means that if I can pay more than you can, Hinata has no reason to go along with you. Kill you, son. Get real, you poser. If you really had m more money than me, you'd need to cough up at least 5 million yen. Besides, we've already made an agreement. You can just waltz in after the fact and take her for yourself. The choice f the choice is Hinata's to make. You even said so yourself. Gah! So what'll be, Hinata? I want to hear your answer. Oi. Hold up there, big boy. You really have 5 million on you? Let me see it. I got 40... Uh, 34 million on me, you little twat. You were saying? I take there is no problem. No way. Now then, Hinata? This is going to be. You, of course, Kiryu-san. Hey, Kiryu-san, why'd you do all this for me? Is it so strange for a man to go after a girl he desires? Sorry, that was a joke. But that was a relationship between a man and a woman. But that's what a relationship between a man and a woman is like. You don't need a reason. I just don't know. Why am I so repulsed by the idea of doing sexual things with a guy? I thought I couldn't ignore my feelings and just do it. That's what it had to... Uh, if that's what it took to make my dream come true. So this wasn't about you becoming number one girl. It was about you trying to get over your anxiety of having sexual relationship. But I doubt anything's changed. If I had followed that guy, I bet I would have just backed out to the last moment. I just regret the whole thing. I'm such an idiot. Come on, let's go back to Elise. I'll go all out and make you the number one girl. Kiryu -san. Oh, Kiryu son? Not that way. Hmm. And spend 5 million yen to help me. Don't you think that gives the right to spend the night with me? I thought you didn't want to! What the hell is your problem, lady? I don't understand. You were just saying you didn't want to do that sort of thing. But the other guy... With you, will be different, you son Right now, it's not about me becoming number one or overcoming my fear or anything like that. Right now, all I want is to be with you, you son Honestly, I am a ch No! Poor Riku-chan! Okay. Enough uh, messing around with stories, because it's really cringe, the fact that the game makes me do this. <laughs> That's alright, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever you'd like. Horny, horny. Really can't deal with this stupid shit. Why are you making me cheat on women? Game! Kiryu-san? Hey, Kiryu-san, how come you didn't want to sleep with me? I really wouldn't have minded, Kiryu-san. Is it because you think I'm a mess? No, of course not. Then why? Hinata, I didn't do what I did just to sleep with you. I did because I wanted to win your heart. That men are despicable creatures who will use money or force to get a woman's body if they are able. But true love and affection don't come from that. I want you to know that the bond I feel with you is more than physical attraction. 
I genuinely care about you, as a man would a woman. That's even worse. Kiri, you're not making it any better. You said the same thing to Riku. Why? Why? <laughs> it's just a game mechanic, Yordi. It's not canon. Once we're heading into game six, this is all never happened. You open your heart to me, and that's all that matters. Kitty is on. No, my phone. This is really bad timing. Hello? Hello, yes, ma'am. What is it? What? Really? Yeah, uh huh. How lucky am I? Alright, see you later. What was that all about? Do you remember that thing with Amy chan? The owner found out she was sleeping with clients, so now she's been fired. Really? And now with Amy gone, my rank's gone up. And see, what rank were you before? Number two! So then, that means I made it to number one! Hey, good for you! I know. If you had slept with me, I would have gotten the axe too. Yikes, that was a close one. <laughs> You're one lucky girl. This means you don't have to spend the 5 million yen now. I suppose not. Come on, let's get back to the club. We need to celebrate a certain hostess becoming number one. Yeah, let's go. Kill you, son. Thank you. So, so much. 3k experience points that I... Uh, couldn't you, can't use. <sighs> yaddy yaddy does he. Hey, at least we didn't sleep with her. So what, does that mean we never slept with the other girls either? Is is that how this goes? I mean, I don't really mind, but... Yeah, I'm not in the mood to read that out loud. No, we just need to do one more dialogue. Then we need to go to Akiyama, and then we need to go to- Ah, no! Get the fuck off my ass! Kojima. Stumimansen I've been waiting for you. Dressed as usual, I see. I'll have this. Kanpai. A big fat sack of tears, that's what we get. <laughs> oh, a monogrammed bag. We can sell that. I did it at long last. Hinata Osaki is the number one girl at Elise. Thanks to whom? You worked hard for it. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you actually had to drive to make it this far. Kitty-san, it's all because of you. I can't thank you enough. 
I've always dreamt of being an hostess, but I never thought that dream would come true so easily. So then I decided that being the number one club's number one girl would be my new dream, and then that dream came true. So what's next? Hmm. I mean, it's not exactly a dream, but I figured I'd strive to make sure I keep my number one spot. But maybe it'd be nice to make the manager next. Or even the owner. <laughs> You've really set your sights high. Then you have to beat uh, Akiyama. I want to hear your thoughts about romance. Oh, we technically already heard that, but sure. Romance? In like what sense? <laughs> Behaviors in menu like. <laughs> My heart really starts racing if a guy be beckons me over. Is you over? Yeah, like when a guy waves his hand to call to be all, come here, you, I'll just run right over. <laughs> Whoa. That's a new one. Did you ever feel that way, Kyuji san, if a girl did a cute little wave from afar as if to say, come over here, you, wouldn't you want to? I guess. Uh. Probably get the wrong idea and assume she was interested in me. See, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. I think I understand. I don't own very many clothes, you know. Kojiji sama? Don't you mean uh, welcome back, Lizzie? Because uh, you just came back. <laughs> yeah. Really? You strike me as very fashionable. Nope, I own the bare minimum of what I need. It'd be I'd be in big trouble if I got careless and had nothing to wear because I forgot to wash. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Are we still talking to her? Yeah, this is the last time that we have to talk to her. I don't have a lot of clothes either. I don't dress well at home and I've got my one good outfit for when I need to go out. See? So, more people are like that than you think. Even fashionable folks wear the same thing over and over if you stop and pay attention. If I had nice clothes, I'd want to wear them a lot too. People who always buy new things to wear are wasting their money in my book. This job requires a dress so I can manage it, but I never be able to see my clients in my normal street clothes. Aww. I have to wear a uniform for work too. I guess it's nice not to have to worry about fashion. <laughs> right, even if I was given a choice to wear my street clothes, I would never do it. Actually, I like to see that. Plus, if I were to e ever put on weight, none of my clothes would fit anymore, so I try my very hardest to maintain my figure. <laughs> That's good! Most people notice they've gotten fat when it's too late. It's great to manage your weight proactively. Okay. Yep. Not having to spend money on clothes is a big in incentive. Good point. <sighs> I'd own more if I could though. My financial situation is my big limited link defector. You can put that money to use towards other interests. Okay, we're leaving. We're absolutely done. Uh. Now we just need to swap over to Akiyama. Just stop by once more. Just go to a thrift stop. Shop. Makes me uh, remember that song, the, the thrift store song. What's it called? From who was it again? Boom, hostess clubs completed. With that guy. Uh, damn, 
one. It's an old ass song though. Fuck you, douchebag. Anything from the first war before. I think I have. But not like clothing wise or something. No more chicks. Way too many people that want to fight me on the street right now. Well... Do you know, Lizzie? My shoes I get for like 20 bucks, Reebok and Pumas. Like 80 bucks. Daniel Lizzie. Love Shine Stick. Is that the item that we unlocked? Thought I already had one of these. Lizzie, so lucky. I don't think trying to get that done in the Netherlands would work. Move items. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, bang, 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 Gucci gang. Okay, let's go to equipment. We wanna wear... Dragon Mill for most protection later. Back to Akiyama, and then back to the club. Then we go back here again, back to switch to Kiryu, so that we can do the Coliseum. And then we swap to Akiyama, I think. Kunariya! Oh shit. I forgot that I still need to go through these. Try and sneak past everyone. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. And fuck you guys. You did it, sir! Elise is back in business and doing great. Heck, doing even better than we were before. That's excellent news. In fact, we are now the premier cabaret club in all of Kamarucho. Whoa, certainly something. You've done an excellent job, Yukio-chan. Couldn't have asked for a better manager. 
Oh no, it's not me you should be thanking, sir. It's all because you had your friends bring such wonderful girls. <laughs> In that case, don't thank me either. It was Kiryu and the others who did all the work. Why don't we all just share the credits? It was a group effort, and at the end of the day, we all won by working as a team. Hey, I kind of like that. Yeah, Shina was right. Thank you guys, all of you. So, now that everyone's chipped in, are we still going to be able to make ends meet with our original lineup of girls? Yes, sir. Really shook this place up. Everyone's super motivated. Plus, with Hinata, Hinata as our number one girl, I think we'll definitely be okay. Alright then. I guess that's that, ladies. Thank you so, so much for all you've done for me. If you like, you can all head back home tomorrow. Aww. But this was so much fun! I don't want to go back till we've done some Tokyo sightseeing. Don't mind showing you the sights. That's right, I have a photo shoot for modeling. Maybe I'll be back in Tokyo again. If you do hit me up. Be sure to keep doing my best from here on out. Job interviews make me real nervous. But I know I can do it. Best of luck to you. If this is where Sheena the Sun is going to be, then I'd like to stay here as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on! I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, you know. Maybe better if you went back to Nagoya, yeah? Everyone's leaving then. Hmm. It's going to be lonely without you all. It's certainly been a wild ride, that's for sure. Well then, I propose we celebrate, yeah? Everyone drink up, it's on the house! For reals? And that's how a real man shows his gratitude. Alright! Why are you happy? Well, it's just that folks don't usually buy me drinks, so... If you want a drink, you can go out there and work the floor yourself. The manager could use some hands-on experience. Aw, oh, hey! Oh, hey, that might actually be fun. Alright. We're all ready. Let's make a toast. Everyone have a glass? Nobody has a glass. What are you talking about? No big speeches? Let's just do it. Come by! <laughs> Might as well have a karaoke party at the same time. A toast together. Achievement unlocked. <sighs> okay, now we just need to go grab Kiryu. Olisan! Okay, we, we're probably gonna have to fight. Osan! Osan! Kanemona! Sasuna Kanedoze! How about no, you butthole? This is a very long, waste of time animation. Okay, did I, uh, was I on time? Good. Okay, this one is done. Super hype. Fucking hell yeah, bro. Oh, wrong way. Look, we're at 89.97% done with our completion list. Okay, swap over to Kiryu. I hope we can swap characters at the Coliseum, because that would save me a shit ton of uh, running back and forth. Damn it, why is there gotta be such a two assholes right here?
wrong one. I didn't have any strength boosts on uh, Kidu. Why are there so many people here? Damn it. Why are they all calling friends? Seriously. I had so many issues getting people to spawn in the locations that I wanted to, and now they just do it? As if it's no big fucking deal? Don't I have like uh, this uh, quick? This one, yeah. Nichi! Nichi! Oroku! This takes out four guys in a row. Into the manhole we go! I wonder who the fuck this Raiden butthole is. Kazuma Kiryu? Where does your undefeated here in the underground call seem? Are you Raiden? Who are you? The name's Raiden. Oh, we kicked your ass before. is that. I've yet to sign up for the qualifiers, but we'll be facing each other soon enough. I heard qualifying round here in Camaro is packed with strong contenders. Hope you'll be rooting for me to make it to the finals. Why would I do that? I don't know you. Sorry. I don't know your customs here in Japan. What a peaceful nation this must be to have such a tournament entertainment. Your fat cats must really starve for blood. Are you done? Yeah, that's all I want to say. Raiden, seems like he's in the qualifier. Probably means I'll run into him in town. I mean, we actually already ran into him a few times in town. You know, but, um, whatever. Hmm. 
thing. Oh, so we haven't actually unlocked the thing yet. Charismatic blade. Jesus, how many points am I gonna need? known that so we need to go outside again fuck it does look like I'm gonna have to get every character and walk back and forth the entire time for every character Way to Bantam. Bantam! Yeah, okay. Who do you say, but who? Trying to dodge as many idiots as possible. Use safe strats. <laughs> so far, so good. Oi, Tomari! Oi, Please come quick before he's killed. Over here, please, before it's too late. No more, I'm begging you. No, you should still have some fight left. You're still breathing, aren't you? But my arm's broken, you win. You're not getting out of this that easy. Hey, lay off him. Psycho! You're Raiden, right? Raiden. Huh, well, if it isn't Kazuma Kiryu. He had enough Raiden. Or do you plan on killing him? He's a Victory Road competitor. And it's a no-holds-barred tournament. Anything goes. So yes, I plan on killing him. Are you serious? No, don't, please. That's enough. You've already won this battle. No, it's not over yet. Ah! Cracking sound that like a spinal injury. He'll be wheelchair bound for the rest of his life. See, now this fight's over. You monster. Is life really that precious? Is that what they teach you Japanese people in school? The truth is, there is a place where human life is worth less than garbage, including the country where I was born. It's a place of endless civil war where children are abducted from their villages and forced to join the rebel army. Their parents are slaughtered, and if the kids don't co cooperate, they too are murdered, but a sure death also waits on the battlefield. It's kill or be killed on the battlefield, and there is no escape. Try to flee, and you'll just die tired. Being from the wrong tribe is also a death sentence, but the battlefield is where I was raised. I survived by killing. I lived through hell to get stronger. Find some other shoulder to cry on. I have no sympathy for someone like you. Cry? Hell. I'm ready to celebrate. Rich bastards are paying good money to watch me rip out some unlucky asshole's guts. That's not what's not to like, and here in Japan, even the most worthless of lives fetch a nice bounty. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Well, Kazuma Kiryu, care to be my next victim? I'll take you on, if that's what you, if that's what you mean. Please wait. You again. Very impressive, Raiden Sun. You win here. Has advanced you through the qualifying round. You've made it to the Victory Road Finals. 
It was right. It's perfectly acceptable to kill your opponent in this competition. However, we can't have comp tournament finalists fight outside the ring. We have to save that for the paying customers. Ha! Looks like we'll have to settle this in the ring. And don't you go running away now, Kazuma Kiryu. I have set my sights on you. Have you heard about Raiden's performance so far? What do you mean? In this qualifying round, opponents will never fight again. They'll be lucky if they can even lead a normal life. What? Raiden has mastered many martial arts and proven himself in the underground fighting scene around the world. And he's a merciless killer. We've been holding Victory Road qualifiers across Japan trying to find fighters like him. And thanks to him, we've been able to weed out the less impressive and trons who could not possibly satisfy our clientele. I suppose so. You should call an ambulance for this guy. I assure you, it's already been arranged. Now then, with Raiden's advancement in the Qual Victory Road Finals, the new, the first new Coliseum Championship tournament will be held shortly. We have all the contenders we need now, 16 of the best fighters throughout Japan. The Victory Road Tournament has sought out the best of the best, only the absolute strongest have made it this far. Amber Lamps, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <sighs> Please do not delay our clientele thirsts for blood. Oh, yeah, 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 crazy ass motherfuckers. Lizzie sleeping? Me want to go home. How much longer do you have, Liz? How much longer until you uh, are free of the shackles that is called work? Less than an hour. Nice. Then you're almost free to do... And go home. Me go sleep on train. And get robbed. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea, Lizzie. <laughs> will begin soon and new champion of the underground coliseum will be crowned the audience is beside themselves with excitement i've never seen them so worked up ready kiryu and she will face tough opponents one after another it will be a single knockout style if you lose you're out for good it is therefore recommended that you save before you enter the tournament <coughs> yeah i did save Should have known you'd be competing too. It's really shaping up to be an epic battle. Man, how in the world did I get mixed up in this? Anyone seen Raiden? What's that? Some foreigner. Word is he beat the shit out of his opponents even when he uh, don't have to. Their fighting days are over after him. At least on is there any particular reason you asked about him? Raiden's mine. Take this personally, but I'm not going to hold back against anyone. Not even you. Till I finish him off. You mean you don't want any of your friends getting killed, Raiden? Raiden! Speak of the devil. The real fun's about to begin, Kazuma Kiryu. But the only one laughing at the end is going to be me. Now that everyone's here...
Let's see who will be the last man standing. There's only one way to find out. Akiyama. Shuna's only 34? Damn. Kiryu is 44. I do hope I get some HP back though, this was not that great. <clears throat> the legendary dragon, Supreme Tiger. Real bashing! Yeah, we got another thingy unlocked, right? The actions, terrain moves, yeah. Okay, all that's left is Shinoda. The unsung genius. Shinoda is 37. Wow, Shinoda is... Older... Jesus. 
You know that punch is fast. Okay, final. So accordingly, this guy is supposed to have six HP bars. H unspecified, style unspecified. Damn, 121. <laughs> left. Easy. I was expecting more trouble in this fight. I'm not gonna lie. Whew. Huff, huff, cough, cough. The winner is Kazuma Kiryu. The Dragon of Dojima is the Victory Road Champion. It's over, Raiden. I don't understand how could I have lost to someone like you? Your country is soft and weak. Doesn't matter if you survive in a living hell for a hundred years, it takes more than that to be strong. What? What are you talking about? You're obsessed with your tortured past, but true strength is more than that. What a load of bullshit! How could a coward like you know what I've been through? You're just another fool who wears his misfortune like a badge of honor. This country is full of them. Hell, you say? Fools like you want to make others suffer like they did, and they always seek to victimize those who are weaker than themselves. Parents beat their kids and say it's because they were abused as children. Swindlers claim they were victims of fraud. But true strength is overcoming that kind of misery, not a perpetuating it. Something like that. You'll never defeat me as long as you think your suffering gives you a right to make other miser others miserable too. Damn you, damn you to hell! Kazuma Kiri! The butthole is dead. 10k experience points. Only 10k experience points? That's not even an entire level up, mate. Okay, so can I change my characters here? No. Congratulations <sighs> on winning the Victory Road Championship Tournament. We are very happy to for you and your incredible accomplishments. Please note that persuading to our rights, swan to our rights, we will be publicizing this event to educate the public about premium violence available at the Underground Coliseum. You agreed to let us use your likeness for this purpose when you registered for the tournament. We hope for you to continue preaching us. Nice day. <sighs> Few competitor data. Tag team matches. 
Ask about the Colosseum. Okay. Uh, so this one is done. Register for tournament. Win Dragon Grand P. Pre. Need to get everyone up, I guess. Weapon Master Grand Prix. Annoying thing is that I do have to walk all the way from point A to point B, and I don't like that. Victory Road Challenge. Complete it. Okay. Oh, I guess we're just starting with Kiryu. Kiryu Han. Uh, difficulty. Start with the Heat Bombar Grand Prix then. Participate. ま、Damn, took way too much damage. Uh, this will be locked if you fail on the Victory Road Tournament, so don't do that. From above, watch as they flash to know when they're about to go off. Okay, got 500 XP. So we did this one. Look by placing fourth or higher. This mode is not unlocked yet. Unlock by mastering the rankings. Okay, weird. Tenth or higher in the battle rankings. Street Fright Grand Prix. There was. Which one was this that had the heat attack that I still need to do? Which was a web. Burn, move, sword play, stun, syringe, grilling, street fright GP, this one. Produce <laughs> Actually, Where This one. Thrilling! Let's go! Okay, that cleans up another one. Just one heat action, and that is the one in the hundreds. Thank you. 
Let me have a look at the Colosseum. Air will be removed and you'll have two X's. We filled only one bar. Oh, we'll be empty to start. Bum. And as you fight, you'll gain more for wins. You'll gain larger amounts for fights, foes that are higher in rank than you note. But as your rank in the Colosseum isn't the same as your fame, as you fight, you'll get points that will go towards your fame, which also increases in rank. But fame ne can never go down, Colosseum rank can. Once you select a type of match. Bum. Okay, the store. Yeah, that's the last thing that I need to worry about. So we need a Dragon Talon and Fang, I think. Tenth rank or higher, they're nearly identical to the maximum GP only. Your opponents are the Cream de la Cream called from the top ranks. You'll face three matches against the Elite. Good luck. Make sure you cheat. <laughs> Limit break, Berserker. Okay. The toughest person to do this with is probably Akiyama. He doesn't have a share spirit like Hiryu or Shinoda, nor options to deal with multiple enemies like Saijima. Double juggle and triangle jump. Only on premium adventure. This GP is not required for completion. You have to look at all this if you don't want to. Just as a, as a note, I haven't bothered to put up who shows up and what. If you're looking for a specific character, go to Breakout or Heat Bomber because free opponent can show up in these. Okay, easy. Tag opponents. Okay. I didn't know Kiryu could do this one as well. Oh, my God. 
No street fight. Fame up. Round one. Need actions. Twelve points. Cheers. High voltage. Rating. Uh, what are uh, Colosseum points? I'm slowly packing up the points, it's not too bad. Uh, view battle records. Tries, wins, rank 46, points 34. A few competitor data. I need to unlock all of these guys eventually. First, just gonna slowly make our way through this. Participate. Choose weapon. Uh, thinking. Probably the katana is probably my best bet for Kiryu. Head Hunter Kadia. Oh, 
Still standing, you bumhole. The applause, Kyoka Kawasaki. Raised stunt. Oh shit, this guy is ugly. That is very bad at looking. Himata! Oh, I know this guy, the Chucky dude. He's also an asshole.
落ちついた様子も観客すぎるこれからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子も観客すぎこれからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子も観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子も観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様ですヒメリーク全力でヒットさせて今のは完全に入りましたガーゼン盛り上がってきて観客もヒートしつつありますもっと積極的に行けそんな声が観客席から湧いています2分いけ観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています少し消極的な展開に観客席から厳しい声が上がっていますもっと積極的に行けそんな声が観客席から湧いています落ち着いたようなの観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です3分経過少し消極的な展開に観客席から厳しい声が上がっています少し消極的な展開に観客席から厳しい声が上がっていますもっと積極的に行けそんな声が観客席から湧いています行くのか電撃そこで一発ガーゼン盛り上がってきて観客もヒートしつつあります素晴らしいファイトに観客から一層の声が上がっています観客席は落ち着いた状態で応援しています This is one long ass fight, bro.
up <laughs> final round six minutes yikes 800 experience points Valerie got it we felt together before Oh, I didn't know this guy was Dutch.
Boom! In the face. Okay, one more round. Fucking move these guys. Dragon King Essence. Pain plus two. Experience eight hundred. Better their data. Rank forty three, Jesus. Register for tournaments. Karate Ren Higashino. Oh, 
Completion lists, Colosseum. Okay, we do need to do every single one of them, except for the last one that is in Premium Adventure.
We're still doing points. I'm at rank 40. I need to get to 30 first. Jesus. Otaroko Maki. Let's just start with a few of the regular ones. So that we unlock some of the fighters. I don't know if we need to do that for any of the achievements. Fucking home dragon. Grand Purim. 
Beam, Yen. The Ray Otaki. Yeah, we'll do this one again. There are a few new guys that I still haven't found before. Probably gonna do Sage Mouse last because he is probably the second easiest character or the easiest character to do this with. Uh, I think I'm gonna do my boy, what's his face, Shinada, after this. Maximum Grand Prix Raiden is number one with 491 points, Jesus. Okay, everyone is still pretty much higher ranking than I am. Ooh, we're 30 now, finally. Means we can do breakouts pre... Renji Kamiyama. Oh, there's only one guy in the breakout? I'm kind of disappointed. I'm 
にダメージを積み重ねる終結の精神でそのまま反撃していく右に回り込む状態で応援していたすぐに持ち直す一旦距離を取るあっとキリュウ旅方なる攻撃で荒ぶっているようですすごい盛り上がりだドロップキック暴れて観客席の盛り上がりで実況も聞こえにくいほどですドラ落としがクリーンヒットすごい盛り上がりだ First fucking ring out fight I get this against Kamiyama, and Kamiyama can't get kicked out of the ring. What a bunch of bullshit. Few rankings, wrong one, sorry. Battle records. Still rank 30. Hmm. How about point exchange? We're on a hundred. Okay, we're at least almost there for one part. Register for tournament. It's your boy, Hiko. Sure, let's do Kasuyu Hiro. Ordered pizza, lucky. Well, lucky, nice, I mean. My PC hasn't arrived yet, I'm NG. Saj. PC, get over here already. Level up fame. 500 XP, 3000. And did some more research into PC parts, etc. And well, well. Oh, I actually went the rank down due to uh, fighting this lower guy. Cringe. Um, do this one. I decided I ordered Thomas Quaid to rip off. Oh. Talk about bad luck. again yeah the parts itself are like 2000 if I build myself but I ended up paying 2590 like 200 300 for the build would be fine but nope 590 taking their sweet ass time <laughs> 
I mean, uh, they need to pay their uh, workers as well, dude. And all the other things that come together with uh, owning a business. I don't know how uh, every how much everything costs. Are you? Oh no, okay, these are not the same guys. take a week plus if you were the only customer <laughs> but you don't know how many customers they have how big the orders are they need to be fixing how big the company itself is another
ゴーラキチオニガシマいくつもの障害を乗り越えいくつもの死闘を繰り広げそしてシーコンペティターデータ One, two, three, four, five, uh, four, seven, still left. Register two tournaments. Yeah, we can do this one. Didn't pay attention to how many ranks it went up. I Use these fights. Use this uh, 
This is Norman C. Wade. It's not my body. From the islands. Fucking Tomaki clipping their asses like it's nobody's business. Let's see. Register a tournament. We're ranked 23rd. That's quite a lot of new ones. This one as well. So we're just participating in the double. Kiryu Kazuma presents Save the Dragon! Versus! Mekai Eno Chotsu Desha! Scorpio Kito. Thank <laughs> you. 
And these fights. Okay, one more. Give me a new one. This is this new one. Welcome back, Nico. Got my pizza, it's really good. Yeah, boy. Good lines. And hold on the ace. The fuck is that? The fuck are those names? Okay, register for tourney. Okay, now we can do the hundred death match, and we should be able to do the sword one as well, which is the last one. The last thing that we need to do. Okay, 
This one, Swordless Rebirth. That's it, right? Yeah, all heat actions are clear. see Turkish sausage in Hollandia is his delicious condiment. Okay. are getting stronger and stronger, I don't really like that.
army knife. We're on 10, so we're on the ship room, which the guy would need to take out first. Excitement went down quite a lot. Oops. 
we stack up some heat uh, in our building. What is the... I'm pretty sure it's Sly... 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 Knife thingy. This one. Run amidst with enemies. Ichi. Ichi. ま、1 
These take so long. See their shooting guy. Oh, <laughs> 
I didn't see the guy with the 9mm automatic pistol. <laughs> Jesus. That was a long ass battle. Well, we're ranked 18 now. It's not that high. How's everything over here? Um, just go do this one, I guess. Utamato 6. Only three characters. <laughs>
振り抜けとリングに残った一匹の獣いやいやいや、スケミスケプショーの男が生まれた喜びを分かち合う The grinding is never ending On KXP Register for the tournament Still 18 place rankings I need at least a hundred more points to get to the higher rankings to rank 10 We'll do this one at least one of the matches that I'll go into is new just in the woods Are these guys guns? These guys are just fine using guns. Garrett is higher ranked than I am. That is kind of cringe. Frederick and Lionel Queensman. Next round. Ivan Ibrahimovic.
guy has a shit ton of base cream. Stop grabbing me. Dragon King Essence. Fame plus seven, high voltage. It's kind of annoying that you can't actually see how much points you've actually uh, earned. This one and this one. Save real quick, just in case anything goes wrong. You know how it goes, everything can always go wrong. How am I doing? Well, I'm doing better than last night, that's for sure. But I'm okay. Nothing too bad, I guess. Battle record. Rank 16. Damn, only got 7 points. Happened last night. Just stress, that's all there is. There was, I should say. So it's not necessarily like something happened or anything. At least two new guys. Just in woods, again the fucking stupid... Yep. Thank 
how's your day been going? Didn't I already ask that? I don't even remember if I already asked that. Any finals? Getting, uh, basically watching videos, looking at PC stuff, and playing a bit of VR until my battery died. Stuff, computer stuff. I'm honestly too stupid to understand computer stuff. I don't believe you! Dragon King Essence. I fought these guys before as well. Urakichi Onigashima
Still rank sixteen. I don't get many points from these fights. There are three, right? Don't see him though. Well, then we're just gonna continue here until I uh, get high enough for the next one.
slap him. Romeo Nishikawa. Sayonara, Tene. That would be funny. Still alive! I hate it when the Hedonists do Jack. Eight fame points. Register for a tournament. Well, at least we're making progress. Jiao. Round one. Bruce again. Ugh, that's ABC out. Semi finals. The Yoshi Banda.
お前はもう死んでるよ出会ってはいけない二人のカリスマがついに出会ったマキシマムグランプリ決勝大変しいマシンやねんプリッシュアディスは、what's his name, スカーターランキング18、足の K1、大場選手のキックには定評があります Fighter of the fall against the first name was Shinoda's. Just give me your rank. That was an XP. Still only in 14. Fuck my life. Seems like we got some more grinding to do soon. Robin Ashbourne. Feel like you were new.
落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様です細かくアディル少しずつ削っていく落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様ですガーデン盛り上がってきて観客もヒートしつつありますおっと攻め込んでいく素晴らしいファイトに観客から一層の声が上がっていますおっとキリュウありそうな落としがクリーンヒットキリュウジーズスおよい金網ジャングルの中で生まれた百獣の王この野獣に心からの祝福を送りたい Let's say fame Let's see, how are we doing? Are we still rank 14? We're rank 13. I still need a lot more points. <clears throat> Shit, I needed that one. At least three. Densetsu no Ryu, Kiryu Kazuma versus Satsuriku no Madonna, Maximum Grand Prix, one fight. Double down, Kyoki, down. Ranking 13, Kiryu Kazuma. This fighter is the best of the three. One thing that I dislike is how heat moves do more damage the more HP the enemy currently has. That used to be the case with the Komaki uh, Tiger Drop. But then it was like a shit ton of damage. Mike Burhart. Who 
Register for tournament, rank 12. Oh, I think I knew this guy, he was annoying for They're not gonna be as annoying as if they just do the same. If I can lure out the charge attack the entire time. Oh, yeah, that's it. 
the spam uh, type of role like it's nobody's business. Kimata! Bill 12. Bill all wins, no losses, though. Akira Yamaoka. Let's do the heat bomber ones for a bit. Didn't gain that many more points. Akira is a higher ranking though, so we can do all the others for more chances on everyone else. Breakout. Only if it... Oh, I should have gone after that guy, by the way. Valerie Garrett. This is my buddy. I think my fastest to win these are doing either one of these to gain points. 
Akari, we could have done Count Elbert. We're just gonna go through figuring out who we still need to unlock and not. How to Alberto? Which lap? Only one point this time, because Count Albert is somewhere all the way down here, I guess. Yeah. Need to bomber. Little bin, Valerine, Kazuhiro, Count Alberto. Bit of gone after Akira again. Ivan Ibrahimovic. The big guy. Have gone after Norman or Inzen Hozoi. I guess we're going after now. Oh, not this motherfucker. <laughs> well, he's not too bad if I can. Uh... Dumb 
speed did not have a lot of points. Sotaro Komaki. Oh, yo, 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 this is gonna be something. Mookie's actually kicking my ass, that's so bad. Stop! Good. Take damage from the explosions. Nice. <laughs> we, ate, we took him down, boys! Maki is such a pain in the ass to deal with. Old GG. We'll get there slowly. We're on 11th rank. That's something. I'm hunting people that I haven't found before yet. Hanya Kudokawa. Because we need to fill that list, I think, anyways. We fought this guy. Eek to Koi. So Hanya is uh, second ranked second. Jesus. Raiden! Hey, hey, hey! Number one! Oh, fuck, we're in the wrong fight. Thank you, Raiden. Oh, 
Raiden is not so hard with Kiryu. Just time it. <laughs> Almost there. I didn't get that much from beating uh, Raiden. Shit, that was a new one. Utamaro seven. I remember you. Them. Just keep punching him. Top 10. We're in the top 10. That's nice. Rank in the top 10 at Colseam for the first time. I'm pretty sure there's another one that we need to do. 5 million yen to glory. Or is that just my imagination? Defeat Amon. 100% glory. Oh, no. I thought there was an achievement that I needed to reach first place with my guys. With one of my guys, at least. That saves me some issue and time. Uh, King of Kings. Let's start with this one. Sounds like fun, right? Participate. Who the hell is the Jiro guy? Yeah, 
障害を乗り越えいくつもの死闘を繰り広げそして生き残った新たな勝者の誕生ブステンフェイム Only 1k experience points. The cringe is real. Register for a tournament. Rank 9 now, though. That's good. To get up to Raiden, though, I need way more. This is ranked. Can I. It's only these guys. You'll have to fight the best of the best, as they say. The Netherlands, Valerie. The Devil's Fist! Valerie's out. In finals, Eva Ibrahimovic. I wonder how I'm gonna do all of this with Shinoda. Shinoda doesn't have any counters. Victory is for Yordi. Okay, let's see. Better records. Rank 8. Ooh. Still so far to go! Or who do we still need to find? Uh, Dabana, Frederick Brakes, Lionel Klinsman, Scorpio Kito, Kyosuke Muguruma, Hunter Ozawa. There's still quite a lot of names I don't know. That might just not appear in certain areas, to be honest. Street Fight. He 
still need to do those, but we figured that much. There's a one in two chat and so many chance that we run into that guy there. Just gonna see if I can run into any... There, Adabana. Oh, we fought you before. Uh, a few competitor data. You almost got everyone except for Hunter Ozawa. Then we need to do three in the, that one. Okay. Uh, I think I'll leave that one for what it is, and I'm just gonna go rank the arena, right? To gain as much points as possible to reach rank four. ランカーリーナグランプリ。ランキングなの。キリオカズ。コーナー選手はケアしてくれたか。超綺麗。ランキング中。アダバ。コーナー選手のハードバンチで。はい、何人待ち止めするんだろうか。おっとよ。攻め
観客から一層の声が上がっているすごい盛り上がりだ観客席の盛り上がりで実況も聞こえにくいほどです左から攻めるガーデン盛り上がってきて観客もヒートしつつあります1分経過落ち着いた様子の観客席これからの盛り上がりを期待している模様ですマッドリクスを恐怖このラッシュがこのベストシンクッチュートカレーに決めてここでヒットの一撃を確実にヒットさせるギルをさすがですすごい盛り上がりだ観客席の盛り上がりで実況も聞こえにくいほどです観客席の盛り上がりそうな落としがクロスゴーいくつもの障害を乗り越えいくつもの死闘を繰り広げそして生き残った新たな勝者の誕生ランク7th OK so fourth I need at least 300 points let's fight Raiden in the See how many points did I get for that one? Sixty one, only six. Might as well do the Hanya one as well. Those, they are faster than doing three fights in a row for lesser points. Nice 
slept there, boy. Okay, 167. Jesus, only three. Let's just go. The big one. Fights, bro. Just to think that we're using the strongest character right now, the one that's probably going to be able to do this the easiest. Oh, how late is it? I think I'm going to stop recording here. I'm gonna cut this one into pieces once we get there. Uh, once I end the stream, we'll continue, I guess, with recording. Oh, ladies and gents, this is the end of the stream for me. Uh, the Colosseum is gonna take a long ass time. And that means that I'm most likely gonna cut that out of all the shit until probably near the end of Saijima, maybe. Um. 
Ja. That means I got uh, some time to waste and such. Uh, I'll be grinding a lot. Uh, I'll be doing that on stream, off stream, everywhere, as until like I'm done with the Colosseum, because this is one huge pain in the bum hole, and I don't know how to do this effectively currently. So yeah, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope you all had a fantastic stream. Uh, I'll be back, and uh, yeah, that's it. Good night, adios, sleep well, and sweet dreams. Bye-bye.